In the previous videos, we explored how some people continue growing well into adulthood, including acromegaly patients who never stop growing. But one possibly essential determining factor behind their late growth hasn't yet been discussed, and that is bone age. For instance, in one study when two very short growth hormone deficient males aged 24 and 22 years were treated with pituitary growth hormone and testosterone, both of their heights increased by slightly over 6 inches. But here's the catch. They both adults, but they had a bone age of 13 to 14 years. Hence, it was observed that bone age, not your actual age, determines how well growth hormones can work, but it works best if sex hormones are present. But what exactly is bone age? You may ask. While chronological age is a particular individual's age in years from birth to present, bone age is a measure of a person's skeletal maturity. In other words, chronic age doesn't always correspond with bone age. Two people can both be 25 years old, but one can have a bone age of 12 years and the other a bone age of 27 years. Why is knowing your bone age important and how does bone age influence growth and final adult height? Knowing your bone age helps to predict how much growth you have left, whether hormones like growth hormone or puberty hormones are normal, and whether you're developing earlier or later than average. An advanced bone age means faster bone maturation, which means that growth plates close earlier, growth ends earlier, and which in most cases this leads to shorter adult height. On the other hand, delayed bone age keeps growth plates open longer, allowing for prolonged growth, which partly explains why some individuals may continue growing in their 20s while others may stop growing at 14 or 15. Hence, doctors can use bone age to predict the remaining amount of growth time left before growth plates fuse. So, how do you check for your bone age? Doctors take an X-ray of your left hand and left wrist, comparing it to standard images to see how developed your bones are. The images obtained by hand and wrist X-ray reflect the maturity of different bones. One may wonder why the left hand and wrist are preferred why not bones from other parts of the body? First, international standard uses the left hand. Medical bone age assessment like the Grulich and Pile Atlas was created using x-rays of the left hand. To keep results consistent everywhere in the world, doctors continue using the left side. Second, most people are right hand dominant. Your dominant hand, usually the right tends to be slightly stronger, experience more mechanical stress or injuries, and sometimes mature a bit differently. Using the left hand minimizes the effect of dominance, giving a more natural picture of development. Third, the hand and wrist have many growth plates. The left hand or wrist has over a dozen growth plates that appear and fuse in a predictable order and provide a clear map of maturation. So doctors can compare your X-ray to known standards to estimate bone maturity. Doctors interpret a bone age X-ray in a very systematic way they're mainly checking how far the growth plates have developed or closed. Two main methods are used to check bone age worldwide, that is the Grulich and Pyle method and the Tanner White House method. The Grulich and Pyle method is the most commonly used method. The doctor takes an x-ray of your left hand and wrist. They compare it to pictures in the Grulich and Pyle Atlas, a book containing x-rays of children at different ages. They find the picture that most closely matches your bone development. The matched picture's age is your bone age. What's taken into consideration during comparison is the shape of the bones, the size and appearance of growth plates, the degree of bone ossification or hardening, whether certain bones have appeared yet, and whether certain growth plates have fused. This method is fast and widely used. On the other hand, the Tanner White House method is a more detailed approach. It's more technical and uses a scoring system. The doctor scores 13 specific bones like the radius, ulna, and several finger bones. Each bone gets a score based on its stage of development. The scores are added together and the final number converts to a bone age chart. In this approach, the doctors check if the growth plates are still wide open, if they are narrowing, almost closed, or totally closed. They also compare if the bones are shaped like what is expected for your age, whether some bones advanced or delayed, which ones have appeared, and how developed they are. Matching the pattern to typical development. If bone age is less than real age, it means that the person is developing more slowly, growth plates will stay open longer, and expected adult height is higher than what current height suggests. If bone age is greater than real age, growth plates will close sooner, total remaining growth is less. 
and predicted adult height becomes lower. This is why two kids the same height can have very different adult height predictions. Why do some people have an advanced bone age while others have a young bone age? You the number one driver behind bone age is hormones. Higher levels of adrenal hormones, elevated thyroid hormones, growth hormones, or even insulin-related growth acceleration can all speed up the development of the growth plates, while insufficient GH, thyroid hormones, and sex hormones slows overall growth and bone maturation. When the hormones run ahead of schedule, the bones follow. Second is genetics. Some families naturally mature earlier. If the parents hit their growth spurt early or completed puberty quickly, their children often show the same pattern. This isn't a medical issue, it's simply inherited timing. Third, childhood growth pattern matters. Children who grow rapidly in the early years or who carry more body fat often show slightly advanced bone age. Body composition influences hormone levels and hormones influence growth plates. On the other hand, short stature without a clear endocrine cause is often linked to delayed bone age. Some people simply develop slower. This is called constitutional delay of growth and puberty. These people tend to hit puberty late, grow when others stop, have bone age of one to over eight years younger, and often finish taller than everyone else. Some of the environmental factors, including nutrition, stress, early life health, and exposure to certain chemicals can shift the hormonal balance and change how fast bones mature. For instance, Malnutrition or inadequate intake of essential micronutrients, especially minerals, slows bone maturation. I know some of you are now wondering if someone can keep their bone age young so they can keep growing longer. The honest answer is bone age is not controlled by willpower or supplements. It's primarily regulated by biology. You either have delayed maturation due to biology or a medical condition, or you don't. So for some adults who grow later in life, Bone age is a key determining factor. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this.